And let's talk about some of the symptoms to look out for because like you said, you know, time is so, seconds sure. count here. Absolutely. So if we could roll these uh, graphics, look, stroke symptoms. Here we go, trouble speaking and understanding. Correct. Uh, let's take the rest of it. Paralysis or numbness of face, arm, or leg. Trouble seeing, headache, trouble walking. I don't know if you'd like to add a couple, but those seem to be the top five. Yeah, so basically if you're talking about stroke in general, in terms like, uh, you know, ischemic and hemorrhagic, Yes, you can kind of group those would be the most important ones, you know. When you're talking about specific about ischemic stroke, we even have like, you know, like a, a word that we use, which is actually fast, you know, yes. which means like, you know, the first thing you need to recognize if you suspect someone is having strokes, make sure their face, which is the F, is symmetric, you know. The R is from arms, so you can actually ask the patient to raise their arms if they're able to do it. A lot of times they're having a stroke, one side will not move or one side will be weaker than the other, so they're not going to be able to lift it or keep it up. Uh, as of speech, of course, you know, so, you know, pers persons that have problem to speak, you know, they have slurred speech or sometimes they cannot speak at all. And sometimes the other thing is that they cannot understand. So you may talk to them and they may answer like different things that you're right. talking. So that's one of the signs too. And then the T is for time. So if you think someone's having a stroke because of those symptoms or any other reason, you need to call 911 immediately, the emergency systems and bring this patient to the hospital that can be, uh, can treat those patients. Um, so yeah, so you know, you can add that to like walking problems, of course, if someone, because if you have weakness in part of your body or you have imbalance, which could be a sign of stroke in the back of the brain, you may have trouble to walk, may have trouble to, you know, stand up and all this kind of stuff. Uh, the other part of stroke, which is the hemorrhagic types, you can have all those symptoms too, but a lot of times you may have only a very bad headache. Not usually a typical migraine, right? but it's something that usually comes out of nowhere. For example, when an aneurysm bleeds, most of the patients would, that get to the hospital alive will describe it as the worst headache of their lives. So basically it's a headache that you, we're here talking and this headache comes up. And out it's of like nowhere. Out of nowhere, stand out of 10, thunderclap headaches some describe. Um, and you know, a lot of people have that associated with nausea, vomiting, um, some of them, you know, may pass out from it. Mm -hmm. So those are very, very dangerous signs. These patients need to be brought to the emergency room to be evaluated immediately.